I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT9. I might the explosive one. Let's start that time, huh? Ba-ding. TNT, yeah, uh, do you know where the saying close but no cigar comes from? Um, It's a horse racing term. It's a horse racing term, and it came from the second place horse coming in second, and you wouldn't get your victory cigar. Is that right? Uh, were you just completely trying to blow smoke up my A, or is that what you, like, thought and knew? That is what I remember from somebody telling me that in high school. Okay, uh, I saw an article the other day that you popped up. You didn't actually know the answer? I do. Oh, okay. Yeah, I do know the answer. <laughs> like, what the hell? No, no. Okay. Uh, where it actually comes from okay. is back in the early, way back, to, probably like the 20s, I think it said, they used to get, uh, carnival games used to be for adults, not kids. Oh. Uh, and, and, the, and the prize would be cigars. Okay. And okay, so that's okay, where they, okay, if you, okay, if you okay, fail, okay. they'd be like, ah, close but not cigar, buddy. Oh, okay, that sounds about. right. That sounds and, right. Uh, and then obviously now carnival games are more geared towards kids because they give stuffed animals and yada, yada, yada. Close but no cigar. Um, uh, I could go. For, never mind. <laughs> yeah, I. Uh, I could, though. Yeah, so it's it's a, it's a an interesting term, uh, but I, I was like, oh, okay, that makes sense. I don't know if I've ever said that to anyone. I feel like you get slapped. If somebody said that to you, if like, if, if <laughs> like, if like we were here and we we're like playing a card game together and I won and I was like, close but no cigar, buddy. I feel like you would slap me. No, I, I, I wouldn't. Nobody's going to hit know, you, but I, just... I feel like people would cringe. Yeah, oh, you want to yeah. get emotionally slapped when everybody <laughs> looks at you like you're some sort of freaking weirdo. Then yeah. yeah. Going around <laughs> so, saying close but no cigar. So with that, with that, with going down that, uh, how do you feel about carnival games? Have you ever I'm, do you ever play them? Are you good at them? Do you you know like just when you go to like a fair or something? This, do you play carnival games? I love this lead up, dude. Uh, do I ever play carnival? I've definitely played carnival games. Um, I've never excelled at any of them. Okay, I can't shoot basketballs. Yeah. Contrary to popular belief, yes, I'm tall and black, but never could <laughs> shoot a basketball. Do you have like a carnival game that like you like a lot, or that you're good at, or that like just one that you enjoy playing because it's just kind of fun, or anything that really stands out? I don't know. When I came to the realization that all of them were rigged, then I just kind of like fell out of favor with them. I remember winning a goldfish. Yeah, well, yeah, that was the thing. Well, they always had those were easy because it was just like there was like a million little jars with colors, yeah. and then you would throw ping pong balls, and you. You were, I mean, the chances of you not getting one in were slim to none. And they're like, here's your goldfish. And it's dead in like a minute. Yeah. They're all <laughs> it like lasted in bags. A week. It lasted a week. Yeah. Uh, I always like the throw the dart at the balloons. I was going to bring that one yeah, up. Yeah, because too. like, the, and, and, and those were the ones that you would always win. I think those ones are meant to be the ones that you win because you get the most <laughs> janky little stuffed animals. Or you get like those, they used to come in the white cardboard frame and it would be like, no vanilla picture or like you know or like <laughs> joe montana and it was just like a cardboard cut out of like a photo of joe montana yeah, yeah. you know um and see the thing with those is that they always get you with that little bait and switch they'll have like the large plushy of like spongebob up there right right and then they'll have like a bunch of like those little chintzy prizes there. It's a chinese finger trap right and they're and like then, oh no to get spongebob you got to get nine balls yeah. in out of ten and you're like you know, yeah, they're like, oh, okay. So, so let me tell you a story. Have I ever told you this Circus Circus in Vegas story? I don't know. You can tell it again. So, it doesn't really matter. So I went to Vegas with some friends. There was four of us. And we went out. We were we were drinking alcohol. I was I was a little drunk, not going to lie. Actually, I was very drunk. Did you throw up? I would, no, no. I was very drunk. We had been there all day. I was, I would, what, what you would call, like, wasted. We go to Circus Circus. It's a carnival circus themed casino yeah, 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 yeah they got arcades they got trapeze in the city they have carnival games yeah familiar i went on a winning streak unfathomable i i won i think i think every game i played yeah. i had so many stuffed animals and dumb dice and casino uh. dude i had to go find a janitor and be like hey can i get a garbage bag i won one of those games that gives you a remote control helicopter like one of the ones where you have the bowling <laughs> ball and it rolls down you have to like balance it in between like the rolling track sure dude 
like the people I was with were like, what the hell is happening? Why? Like, and I was so, I shouldn't have been winning any of these games. I was so drunk. And like, I had this giant bag of crap that I was like, and then we're looking at my helicopter. I finally did. Like I got, I think the only stuff I took home was the helicopter. I did maybe like one, like little stupid thing as a souvenir. And, uh, the helicopter worked. It was garbage, though. But oh, it, yeah. but I, but it like it did fly. But it was like you put in batteries and it lasted like two minutes. But I thought this was. I thought that was a casino. It is. But they don't give you like cash prizes for. No, they have the... carnival games and actual games. Yeah, I know. Too. I thought that the carnival. I'm familiar with circuit with the circus casino, but I thought that you also got cash prizes for winning the carnival. Not games. the carnival games. The carnival games you get normal prizes, but they have like gambling tables where you win money. Right? Did you win any money while you were there? Uh. You didn't play any games. I uh, when I go to Vegas, a lot of times I slow play roulette, so I can get free drinks. Because I, if you're patient with roulette and you just bet on like black and red and odd and even, you have almost a 50-50. Yeah. So if you're patient with it, you can play for a very long time and you'll go up a little, down a little, whatever. But what happens is you get greedy. You're like, oh, well, I've won five in a row. Let me just bet 10 bucks on this one. And that's when you lose, right? Um, so, um, but no, I play roulette. Sometimes I'll play blackjack. But the problem with blackjack in casinos is if everyone playing is on the same page – the whole table can do great. Yeah. But you get people who don't know what they're doing and they're taking the dealer's bus card and like people are getting pissed. Like blackjack is not a casino game really to play. It's a, uh, I, mean, I would say it's a team game, but it's not really a team game because you're not really allowed to team up. It's that unspoken team game because like if you sit down and everyone plays blackjack meta, you will all probably win. Not a lot, but like you're more likely to win. Yeah, I guess, man. Somebody's always going to come out on top, but right. if the money won't go to the house as often. Right, well, because cause when you do blackjack, you're not playing against each other. Only no, if everyone's playing, playing against, against the, house. the house. So if you're yeah. all like, oh, the dealer has an eight showing, let's all pass because he's probably going to bust. Yeah, yeah. I get what you're great, saying. but then there's always the guy who's like, I don't know what to do. Hit me. And you're like, everyone's like, what are you doing? You know, like, and, but yeah. But uh, roulette's my, my casino game, if I can play. Well, poker's I, hard, too, because you're playing against yeah, everyone. Yeah, poker's tough. Um, I've only been to one casino in life, and it was just slot machines. It was in uh, Pennsylvania. Okay. They, they have uh, legalized gambling and PA. Um, and when we lived in Cleveland, they didn't have legalized gambling. Shortly after we left, of course, now they have it, like... The it opened about maybe a year before I moved out of Cleveland. Yeah. But that casino's kind of jank. We I've went a few there. times. It wasn't very fun. I've been there. It was all right. I mean, it felt like a Dave and Buster. It, it really did. It's all <laughs> long and long and skinny and weird. Yeah. And it's, dude, it's, it's, it felt like a Dave and Buster's. Um, but I, I went to a just a uh, slot machine casino, right, right. and I spent like a hundred bucks, and I lost like fifteen dollars, and I was like, okay, I'm done. I will not play slots. No, because I lose money. I mean, it's yeah. just literally pull the lever till your money's yeah. gone. It's lottery tickets. I got it. I feel like offs. with roulette, there's a little bit of skill, but you get to see the lights. Yeah, Jonas. dude, I'm not a I'm not a dopamine lights guy. I the lights, I'm man. a give me money guy. That that that, <laughs> that 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 makes my dopamine hit. Yeah, but you don't know how to count cards. I don't. I mean, actually, I I did learn how to essentially count cards, but like, I will be I, reporting you to the authorities. But I've never put it in practice because casinos do things to make you not be able to do it because they like all... break your legs. Yeah, yeah, like cut <laughs> off your toes. That's why I only have nine toes. I didn't tell you the story about me. I used to be uh, the movie uh, Twenty One. I was part of the MIT. Oh card my counts. god, Jonas is a freaking Ocean's Eleven. I am, dude. Me and me and Clooney. We I, me. I knew it. So, but uh, no, dude, I, I, I do enjoy gambling. Like I do want to go back to Vegas sometime, probably in the next couple of years. We have buddies out there. Yeah. Um, I do I like going, go. wandering, playing, you get free drinks. It's fun, man. I mean, I'll go. I'm not really big on gambling because I really don't understand like just giving your money away. I'll play the lottery every once in a while. Right. When the, well, yeah, when it's hundreds of millions of dollars, yeah, right? But I'm not going to be well, what's just really tossing money fun, to the wilds. What's kind of fun is, you know, they, what what I like doing when I went to Vegas, I've only been twice. So if you go, there's always like a bar in at the, at Vegas in, in the casinos. <laughs> you don't say. And you can sit at the bar and they have like video poker machines. Mm -hmm. And you just usually you can put like a 20 in and just kind of slow play. And you can sit there and get a few drinks because the drinks are free. So as long as you have money in the machine, you can get free drinks. And so you're not really after the money. You're after some drinks. That's what everybody does. 
I mean, yeah, but that's... But then you get drunk and you get more frivolous. That's why they give away the alcohol. Yeah, I mean, yeah. And the drinks, and the drinks take a long time to come if you get them from a waitress. That's why you go to the bar, because the bartender is literally in front of you. Yeah, if you're at a know. slot machine, the waitress only comes around every so often. She's last, lackadaisical. If you're tipping her, she's going to come back and get you, right? But, like, and then you just... It's all about the cheap booze out there, really. So... Huh. Yeah, and the food, they always say there's all this cheap food. It is not. We always ended up eating at McDonald's if we wanted cheap food because all the so-so called cheap food, not cheap, dude. The, the buffets were still like $20. You're like, bro, I'll just go eat a flipping double cheeseburger. I would love to go to Vegas. I, I do. I want to I experience that culture. I want to see the man. lights. I want to I wanna be. Yeah, at night, it's, dude. Pro, it's I want to be propositioned by a prostitute. Bro, that will happen. Walking, yes. around, walking around in the street with beer. Very cool. Except for it's so flipping hot, you got to drink it fast, man. Like, because it gets hot. You know, it's, it's, it's 110 <laughs> degrees, bro. You got to drink it. Yeah, exactly. Anyways, that's all the time we got for today's episode. Please go to crazetown.com and subscribe for Jonas. T-A-T. Oh, yeah.